ladies and gentlemen, it is six o'clock in the morning on Sunday, the 28th of July, 9, uh, 2024. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. All right. I need to get something very clear and I'm going to make sure that whatever that is going on and the lies that people are speaking, I am going to make something very clear. If you're a Capricorn person, I did a reading for the month of August and in this reading for the month of August, I had told you guys what happened on July 19, Friday evening to Saturday morning. What has transpired? All right, let me deliberate. This video is been made that if I should pass away for whatever reasons or circumstances that my family and the US government know exactly what has transpired, okay? I'm gonna give you a story about a woman that lives in Europe, okay? And a lot of you who listen to me, you know exactly who that woman is. And for the rest of you, try and figure out who that woman is. We're going to be doing a little investigation case where we're going to be helping the FBI um, the Netherlands government to, to find out exactly what is going on because something is going on that is not above water, okay? And my life could be in danger. And this is why I'm making this video so my family, because I know all my family in America, when they miss me, they check YouTube. Okay, so this is a situation where a lady in Europe um, admits someone. Uh, this lady, she's actually, um, she works in finance and she actually has a coaching um, um, company, okay? So she does coaching with people, Tarek reading, uh, face reading, you know, name it. So anyway, this lady um, met someone at the hairdresser. This person asked her for a reading. Um, she basically had stopped for a while because she had an operation on her eyes. She went back to work full time. So anyway, story, story. Um, she said, okay, I'll do the reading, but I do not, I'm not anymore focused in doing life coach anymore because I went back to my normal job. Anyway, she did the reading. And so the person, um, you know, contact and, uh, she told the person, you know, you need to get this. You need to get that. This is who you are, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, the person asked her, um, I heard that you are in finance. Can you help me? And the man gave her some documentation to read and ask her. And this happens in 2022. Okay, fine. She reads the document. She helped the man. She gave him advice. And, um... The man says, okay, I am building in another country. Is it possible you could come and look at what I'm doing? Because so the lady thought, well, that's a good idea. And um, the lady thought, you know, it's good that, uh, um, you know, a brown person, um, it's a mixed person, um, is really doing something to help another country. So the lady went. Anyway, she came back, blah, blah, blah. Um, this person was having problems with their um, spouse and what happened is that they just that this man decided to get divorced okay so um, this man asked her if uh, seeing that she's in finance if she could work come and work for him. Um, you know the ladies they oh but it's a good idea well this person is trying to do something good for humanity you know, why not? I'm always working for huge corporations. So anyway, this person went and worked for this man. Um, the divorce was a nasty divorce. There was a lot of stuff. And the lady has uh, become um, more familiar with this person and is recognizing that, you know, this person didn't deserve whatever is happening. So anyway, um, this lady in the same year of 2022, this lady 
partner's father died. And uh, in the year 2023, her partner said, well, you know, my father died. My mother is alone in my hometown. So I'm going to go back to my hometown. So the lady said, you know, I do understand that. But I'm not ready to move from where I am because I have my home and that sort of a thing. Now, this person is actually a best friend who has been there for her because in the year 2012, her house was broken in. And that was the reason why that friend leave that city to come and live with her because her house was broken in. So this lady and this person, they've known the, like each other for 20 years. Anyway, um, you know, the lady was talking and then communication, conversation, um, the man heard and said, oh, is it possible that I can stay by you until, um, seeing that you're going to be alone until I get my home place? Um, because I'm, I can't stay by my parents because I need to have my kids over on the weekend. So this dumb lady says, you know, oh, it's okay. You know, this lady grew up uh, most of her life in America and our family are Americans and the rest of it. She thinks, yeah, you know, if I can help someone. And this woman is like a humanity person. She's always looking for people to help and help in whatever way. So whatever has a transpire and happen, um, uh, December 23rd, um, December um, 15 of December, um, they always go away like for weekends because, uh, you know, this lady is someone who is, is very um, busy all the time. So she always take weekends away. On this um, very weekend, she went away with this person and um, they were there sitting down talking in a restaurant. And then this person said, oh, you know, one of my colleagues, my colleague that is an Antillian person, um, he says, you know, he doesn't like brown women or dark skinned women or dark you know, women because they always have a temperament. And that's why he only go with white people. And then he went on and he went on. And I am sitting there as a black person trying to help this person. And I'm thinking how totally ironic and ridiculous because you're just divorcing a white person who is taking you down for everything that you have and I'm a brown person that you have asked for my help and I'm here sitting with you and you're understanding that my father and my mother never got married because my father was white and my mother was black <coughs> so I thought to myself really mm, okay so you see you never know people you know and this is one of the reasons why I never really get close to people because I, I always like study people and see their behaviors and reactions. So anyway, um, you know, I'm sitting there and I'm thinking this is totally ridiculous. So anyway, I, um, you know, he went to pay. Oh, I didn't mean it that way. I said, you meant it exactly how you have said it. Okay. And I said, you know, the, the so ironic thing is that you are so wanted. Um, I said, if you're so wanted to be with a white person, you can be with a white person, but you're just divorcing one that is taking you down for everything. So anyway, I left it. I walk away and went to the hotel and oh my God, they're beginning a drama. And this person basically left me, left the woman alone in Belgium and drove back to Holland. Okay. That was when, because a, a qualification came in because I said to the person, is it not better to wait until tomorrow in place of driving home? And an altercation came in. Anyway, person left um, and the woman called a friend and said, look, this is the situation. And the friend got up and drove from Holland to Belgium to pick up that person. Now that is a friend. That is what you called a friend. Anyway, this lady came back and there's a lot of pain and the rest of it in her face. And, uh, um, you know, and this person said, you have to go to the hospital. You really have to go to the hospital. And this lady was like in pain from the 15th of December until the 30th of December because the person decided this pain is too much. I'm going to the sauna. 
Now, this lady um, partner moved out on the 30th of December. So anyway, the lady decided, okay, uh, if someone strange is coming in my house, I only have one bathroom. And this lady grew up in America, so she's used to her home private stuff and stuff. So she thought, okay, I did sell a property. I can invest in this house by making arrangements, changing out. So the person said, I don't like carpets because I'm allergic to carpets and whatever. And this lady think, okay, so you're my guest, so I have to be convenient to you, my guests. And seeing that the children would have come over in the weekend, you know, I'm, you know, the lady is trying to basically help him out of a situation. So anyway, um, the lady um, decided, okay, she's going to do it. So she said to the person, do you know anyone that can do the building in the house because I need to get it fast and I need to get it done. Um, so the person said, yeah, I have a lot of people. I know a lot of people, but I prefer to do it myself. I said, no, I said, I prefer to get people to do it. No, my kids can help us also. So my friends, I have a lot of friends. I said, no, I do not want your kids to help. I do not want your friends to help because I need this to be done properly because if there should be a problem in the future, I will not have the guarantees, okay? That is just the normal thing to do. No, 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 I can do it, blah, blah, blah. And the kids need the help and they need... I said, listen, as I think about this, this is not what I want. This is not... And the person went on. Okay, friends came over, friends help. And this man began to bail in my house not even sitting down with me, asking what I want, whatever, whatever. And I'm thinking, okay, this is just not normal. This is not pe how people behave normally. And I, for three months, my house was not um, labor bar because I basically didn't do any videos and that sort of a thing. Anyway, um, never tell my family what is happening. I just tell my family I'm re um, redoing my house. So never tell them that I was going to be letting someone come and live with me. Because I know my family would have said, no, no, no. Because my son is missing in America. And nobody seems to know where my son is. Because I was in America from 2016 until 2019. I left. I returned to Europe. And my son went missing. So anyway, story whatever um so this going back to january 2024 and so so after the house was building all of that i i started thinking and i think okay if you know this person is going to come and stay with me for a time i don't know how long i don't know what can happen to me so i'm gonna make uh, my last will and testament if anything happens to me um you know um someone will be uh, the person, the testament of uh, someone who's going to do the testament. And I would think about leaving at least um, money for the kids so that they can get a new start. Because obviously it's my assets, my thing. I have to sell my assets or if I pass away, then my assets have to be sold and my family gets my asset. That is just normally my family, my bloodline, my family, my son, if we ever found it. So anyway, I decided to make a testament and somehow um, coming on in May of 2024, um, I just, um, I saw something and I asked this person, I said, you know, um, something, this thing was said, it's in this place, but at this time I saw it in Waterdam. How is that? And whatever. Now this person gets so upset, so upset and begin to say i need to get out of this i need to get out of this so i said oh okay no perfect okay so i had to run some errands i went to run some errands at 12 30 i was back and this person left at 12 2 because i have a security on my house so i can see the time when people come in and out of my house so okay and that was the thing and whatever whatever and uh, the whole day I have heard, um, have guests at home. Normally you make food and people call and said, oh, we'll be at this time or that time. Nothing happens. 
So anyway, I went on with my life and I work uh, from home, home and I was there at um, about 11 something, uh, 12, I think at about half 10, someone called and, and he says, well, I'm going to pick up stuff and I'm going to my mom. So I said, okay, fine. I said, okay, um, is that's what you will, whatever. And then the person came and the person started to go on. I'm like, hold on. Uh, I am not married, not in a relationship, and I basically don't think. Anyway, there's um, complication. The person took my phone, saying that it was a mistake, took my keys, saying that it was a mistake, and I'm thinking, ho, 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 something is wrong. But in the time of the bowing, at one stage, I said to this person, hold on, you seem to be just making whatever you want. I Do you... Uh, I, it's like as if you're going to be taking over my house or something. So you're building it in the way that you want. You don't even ask me, is this what I want? Now, ladies and gentlemen, I would think that if you are in a house and you live in a house for 20 years, this house is your house and you're invited a guest and this person is going to be taken over and billing. You would, uh, you know, at some stage I was calling my friends, I was thinking, but this is not normal. This is not normal behavior. So anyway, um, when uh, that person said that in May, I think, okay, you know something, it's fine, whatever you want to do. So, um, Two days later, this person comes around. So I said, exactly, can you please explain exactly what you're going to do? Since says, you decide to go back to your parents' house, um, you know, what is going to happen? Because basically, I don't want someone to be coming in and out of my house that doesn't live here. And I think that is only normal. Because if you're a woman and you're living alone, and you don't want people to come in in your house, and I'm a quite private person because I like to have my private time. And... Um, and what I mean by private time, I read a lot. I communicate for three months. I've been uh, by um, their place. So I want to kind of come down. I got to do my videos. I got to do this. I got to do that. And um, I said, so what is the decision? What decision are you going to decide to do, basically? So... Um, the person said, well, I'm going to go by my parents. I said, okay, then you have to move your stuff out of the house because if you're going to go by your parents, you have a key for the house. Um, I don't want uh, when my friends or, you know, unexpected visitors are going to be coming over and that sort of a thing. And I think that is on the normal. That is just normal behavior from people. No, and this, and now I have to move and blah, 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 blah. But that's not it. You decide to go stay someplace else. And I think it is so unnatural that you remove your stuff out and I regain my, my keys for my house. You know, because it is a situation that I said to this person, you know, seeing your situation and your position, I, I will help you. So, you know, see it as being at my house as a guest. And when you're at someone's house as a guest, I said, the only thing you need to do is buy your own food for you and the kids. And I think that that is only normal. Anyway, there's a whole eruption and uh, blah, blah, blah in that. So anyway, at the end of the day, I spoke to the kid mother and the kid mother said, it's better that the kids stay with me and you two seems to go and work out whatever this, you know, this miscommunication or whatever which i think is just normal and it is fine all righty so we go two three we uh, this person came and, uh, and i said to the person i said where exactly are you going to go because um you're moving back your things to storage and you know i'm someone of my word i keep my word when i give my word to someone and i don't see the reason why you're going to be getting up leaving and I said, you can, you know, there is four bedrooms in the house. You can go and sleep in one of the bedrooms. Your kids can have, and I, the office is there and I sleep way up the top. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, whatever happened, um, he took the kid by the mother and whatever. So by there, uh, two weeks later, um, yeah, 
you know, my son wants to come and live with me, blah, blah, blah. And I said, well, that was not um, the discussion that I had with his mother. And his mother is the guardian of this child. And I am not going to be going over that. So, um, went blah, blah, blah. And then I recognize that, you know, this person is not really happy with whatever I said. But I think normally I said, we have an, an, um, an agreement that the kids will come in the weekend and, um, you, whenever you are getting ready to get out and, and that sort of a thing, because it was something that is timely. So anyway, I recognize that this didn't come off very good. And I'm thinking my son is missing. I have spent full time with my work with you. I'm full time here. I'm full time cooking, making sure that everything is okay. I'm full. I'm, I'm like, hold on I have my own issues also to deal with and I don't know if any one of you your child has ever been missing or you haven't heard from your child for a while but this is something that you wake up every day wondering where your child is and at this moment m the um is home that he grew up with is calling me and she said we have not heard um from um your child for so long and that is not normally a behavior from him he's always coming around the family so of course i've been saying to them for um, a long time reported to the fbi because then the fbi will investigate whatever is going on and find out where he is america is a huge country and this child grew up in florida so i mean he you know whatever is going on if you reported to the FBI, there, there, you know, can investigate the situation. So, okay. So rolling back to May, June and that sort of a thing. Um, I had a conversation or we were just having a conversation on a Friday evening. And I recognize that I need, and I, kind of recognize and I see where the conversation was going. So I went to my bed, wake up and I remember it was on a Monday morning and the universe said, Cole, you need to make changes in a document that you have already created. This and this and this is what you need to make changes. So I went and I made the changes in the document and okay, rolling back, coming up to July. I go to the gym, it's a Friday evening, come home. Blah. Normally, I go in bath on a Friday evening. I love my bath. I need to, it's like it, you just take all the, uh, the energy from the whole week and you just let it go in the bath. So, mm, I remember, you know, because Friday evening, you always, uh, maybe you have wine or something. And um, ladies and gentlemen, I know that I went to my bedroom and I, I took my glass in the bathroom, but I can't remember anything. And I wake up in the bath and the bath water was empty and there was this yellow stuff, yellow water. I'm thinking, but I used the red, but you know, there is by crowd pot, a, ro a red thing for the bot. And I'm thinking, but that's what I use. So why is this yellow? So anyway, I, um, I, I started worrying because I woke up and it was like, and I step out of the bar directly, but there's water on the floor and that sort of a thing. I'm thinking what the hell happened? Cause I, I had no recollection of what happened between 12 o'clock and 5 o'clock in the morning. So anyway, I get out of the bath, I went to bed, I couldn't sleep, I went downstairs, I made tea, I'm like, this is not me. Whatever is going on, I have no idea whatever is going on. So anyway, we were only with the two of us in the house. And this is where we're going to be investigating a situation, ladies and gentlemen. And this is a story for 
light workers and people like me who are humanitarian who wants to help other people helping other people can be the downfall of you yourself because here i am opening up to help another person and this is what i'm recognizing this can't be i was so intimidated that i put a camera on my room door okay that was like two or three weeks before that um because my son is missing and we are not aware of what is happening where my child is and why is my son missing so anyway i went and i looked in, in the hab on the camera outside you know did we go outside whatever what happened so um i thought okay i i gotta go in meditation to find out and um because whenever you kind of flip or miss you all always like people who meditate can go in meditation and find out and um the Saturday we, we, we left and we, um, had a function and, um, I was there at the function and I was looking at my phone and I have a sun, sun panel, um, uh, on the top of the house. And this is the, this is what I should tell you guys at the, around 16 May or so, he said, Oh, you know, we have extra sun panels. Should we get, I said, no, Listen to what I said, ladies and gentlemen. No, because at the time in Holland, whatever is going on with the sun panel, people was like, stop doing sun panels. So I said, no, I have to think about it. Not at this moment. And of course, on the 16th of May, they came, I pick up the sun panel and I'm like, you know, I really don't want the sun panel right now. I have to look at my budget. I have to know what is going on it's not right no 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 it's okay it's okay you know you have done so much for me blah 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 and i think within my gut because i'm someone like this i'm an independent woman i don't ask people for anything if i don't have it i just don't have it but i don't ask people for favors i don't ask people to do things for me because i i'm an only child and you grow up to understand whenever your parents um one or both of your parents is no longer around you have to be independent for yourself okay so i'm not one of those people who are going to be hacking and i can imagine my best friend i remember uh my best friend mother said to me one day why you never ask people for help and i said i'm not used to that i said i'm used to just resolving my stuff together and anyway, we're rolling forward um somehow I recognize that something doesn't sit. My answer of no uh, for the situation didn't sit properly. So, so here we are at July, um, the, the night between Friday, July 19th and uh, Saturday. And um, I could, and, and, the, and the Sunday I decided I want to go in meditation. I want to know what exactly happened because as us as spiritual people we can go in meditation and to retract whatever we have in our dreams or that sort of a thing and just just about anyone on this planet can do it and i went back and i retract my dreams and i'm like whoa okay okay uh and then your memory actually started to give you um, the information that was dormant. Okay, so that when you pass out, for some people, I, whatever that was in my drink and I pass out, can put the, you, you can go back <coughs> on the hypnosis <coughs> and find out what has transpired. And the conversation that we had and uh, uh, made me aware of a lot of stuff. So anyway, I said nothing. So rolling forward um, in that week, my eyes become very red because I woke up and I'm feeling this pain in my side and it's getting, um, 
it's getting worse and worse and worse. And I have this, you know, they have the scream and holler that you can put on your, the pain. And, but I can't, I can't like walk or it's, I, I'm right. No. Did I fall? What happened to me? I can't remember if I fell or whatever. So anyway, honestly, ladies and gentlemen, and you know, on the death of my both parents, this is the honest truth and nothing but the truth. Anyway, I'm having this pain and um, my eyes are red and uh, um, the week before, because my eyes start getting red and I did an operation. So the hospital says once you're feeling uncomfortable with something with your eyes, you need to come in and get it checked out. My eyes was totally red. Both eyes. And I recognized I had, to, they asked me not to wear my lens for like a week. And then only eight hours per day, I should wear my lens. So I went to the hospital and the medicine, the drops that I have, they were all sold out in my area. And I was driving around trying to get the pharmacy to get it. So anyway, rolling forward, um, the 25th, 25th, yeah, 25th of July, that was Thursday, the 25th of July, came back. And on my way back, this man calls me and he said, can you pick up my lens? And I'm say, I'm sorry, I'm driving the other side of town um, because I wasn't driving past where the lens was. So anyway, I came in and, you know, if you live with anyone, you can recognize whenever they're in a good mood, whenever they're depressed, whenever they're emotional. And this person is um, emotionally, they can be up, down or and so, you know, I'm someone who learned to live with people who has these things. I can, I'm a, a, mostly a very quiet person because I like working alone and I'm mostly a very quiet person. Um, so, but I can pick up the emotional or um, whatever the energy of that person, whatever that person is feeling. So I, I basically said, you know what, what, you know, what's wrong? Um, what's wrong? And, and, and. The night before that, like, I think the night of the 24th, we all went to bed like about eight o'clock. And um, he said, well, I had to do this for my son. And and, and um, I was thinking, okay. Um, I said, well, okay, explain to me what is it that you guys really want to happen? Because the... the um, the um the decision that we made and the um you know what we have the agreement that we made was that the kids would have come in the weekend because I work from out house ladies and gentlemen so and I'm always on the phone or what so I can't basically so and then I have to start cooking by two o'clock I have to get up start cooking and then I have to break from the the focus of my work and that sort of a thing. And um, when you live with someone else, let's say that you live with someone for 10 years, because I live with, live with my ex-partner for 10 years. We kind of know our routine because we used to work from out of house. So we know our routine, who is supposed to cook on that day. Who is supposed so we kind of have a routine, but when you live with someone new, basically, you know, these, you know, there's other things, you know, um, we were, you know, we clean on the weekend because we work from our home and especially in Corona time, you work from out home, but in, a, you know, you, you vacuum and that sort of a thing. But in the weekend, that's when you wash your bathroom and everything and clean your windows and that sort of a thing. But it's just it's constantly, uh, constantly, I'm like, hold on. I'm alone. I'm doing all of these things. I'm working full time. And I'm doing all of these things. And I'm thinking, okay, all right. And, I, you know, and fine. So I started thinking, because it was on that the Thursday. So I started thinking, I'm thinking, you know, we made an agreement. I cannot overgone an agreement because we made an agreement. I know myself, you know, and it's, a, it's, it's, it's not a full time thing. 
um, it's not yours that you're going to be, um, you know, your guest in my house. It's not yours. So I'm, I open up, make, you know, to help out as a normal Americans. We are always like helping people, whatever we can do, um, you know, and um, so, um, you know, this person said, yeah, but I, I, I said, yeah. But the thing about it is that I said to this person, how would someone look for work in a area where you don't have a living arrangement? That's all I said. You know, that's the normal question that you say to someone. And then it was like, boom. And whenever I just start shutting down and I basically just become very quiet and this person, top, 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 go the step, blah, 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 blah. So this person came down after like an hour or so and said, oh, I'm going for my lens. Um, so I said, but you just told me you had 15 euros. So how are you going to pick up your lens? It's okay. It's okay. I'm good. I, pick, I said, okay, bloody. It. I cannot understand. So anyway, um, uh, oh. Um, so I laughed and I think, yeah, this is, this is, this is abnormal. Uh, five minutes ago, you said you have 15 euros and then you're going to pick up your lens and I'm asking you how you're going to pick up your lens. I think, okay, it's not my problem. Whatever, let it go. So I laughed and I went outside, and smoked a cigarette. And this person came back and just started to rip to pieces and you know, came and said, why don't you stop this? Why don't you stop this? And I'm, I'm like, outside, I'm like, why don't I stop that? It's kind of weird. So anyway. And this person went on and then I'm like, you know, I'm there. And, yeah, and you know what? It's better that I just uh, um, leave. And I said, okay, I said, you know, I can't hold anyone back or whatever you need to do. You know, you have to make your own decisions. And yeah, I need to get out. I said, it's okay. That's what you need. You know, go right ahead. And this person started banging. I'm thinking, ho, ho, ho. There is something else going on. Ladies and gentlemen, women have an intuition. Women knows that something is going on and it's a normal it is so normal when men behaves like that they have a plan and the plan doesn't include you and i can remember i'm like oh yeah we have that on saturday that on saturday and the next week there is another thing oh okay so at this moment i'm thinking because I've been thinking for a while, I don't need to be at all these places with this person. I'm kind of thinking, you know, I'm always busy. I don't do my videos anymore. So I'm like, okay, because men are always like this. And ladies, you know that. When a man wants to do whatever with their friends or want to do something else, because it doesn't have to be always with their friends, they create chaos so they can have an argument and they can rush out and then um, they don't return for two days or that sort of a thing. Because I I've, I've, have so many girlfriends, so many um, girlfriends that's just married in a relationship and they're always telling me these things. And I'm always like, well, better you than me because, you know, I don't believe in that sort of a thing. I know exactly who I go in a relationship with. I know the type of people that I go in relationship with. And, you know, I we always see these men. These are the men that, you know, whenever they have a plan in their head and whenever you're not included, then they create chaos or arguments or that sort of a thing. So I'm like, you know, you know, be my guest. But um, whatever is going on, this this man gets really upset. Gets, and, and, and then I hate when someone disrespect another person. And if you disrespect me, that's where I am going to be, you know, really answering you. And I think, you know, this is this is this is really weird. There's more going on. 
So I let it go and I let it pack. And he goes, aren't you going to help me pack? And I said, no. I said, the last time you and your son went and told everyone that I put you guys out the house when you both have a key to my house. I said, that I'm not going to be doing another time. I said, that was not a very nice thing to say because basically you guys left, you came in, you pick up clothes and you left and you went and told everyone that I, I placed you out of the house. I said, you can't put someone out of a house if that person both have keys, okay? So that's not really honest, okay? And I don't know, and a lot of women are like this. We basically do not like when people say things that is not true. Like that can just kill me. It breaks my energy. It breaks who I am as a person. You know, I think that people are uh, should be honest. And when adults, adults should be honest. So at the stage of the game, somehow someone um said to me is it true that so 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 i'm like no uh, I, well didn't the man and his son build your house i said no this house is built from 2004 i said where did you get that yeah but that's not i said listen this house was built from 2004 i lived in this house for 20 yeah, over 20 years so um you know what Next year is going to be 20 years. What are you talking about building my house? Yeah, well, that's what they're walking around saying. I'm like, what? So anyone um, would have like, hold on. Uh, hold on. I think my best friend and my ex-partner knows how I bought this house, where I was working, when the house was built. I'm like, no, this is not normal behavior. So anyway, at the end of the game, I'm thinking, oh, so that was what that was all about. I thought, okay, I think, but this is not normal. That's, you know, for me, that's not normal behavior. Um, and, and, you know, hearing something that people are saying behind your back, which isn't um, correct. And this is the reason why I'm making this video. And the reason why I'm making this video is because you need to think for yourself. If there's two people in a house um, on a night that this person thinks they can't remember what happened that night also. Move forward. On the Thursday, this person really got upset, really packed their things. And I'm like, what is going on? There is something else that is going on. And this person packed. And like the first time when the person was supposed to come and pick up their stuff, it took days. But this evening, it's like everything was being screwed, removed. And I'm like, hold on. There is something else going on here. So anyway, um, as we move forward, I, you know, there is conversation and he's saying things and I'm like, and he goes, yeah, and you're so loud as a fish, Brenda. And I said, it's okay. It's okay for that I'm loud as a fish. Yeah. And you're so as Antiliana and whatever, whatever. And, uh, um, and, uh, um, that's how Antiliana people behave and they're loud. And so, and I said, what's wrong with Antillian people? I said, there's nothing wrong with Antillian people. You have Antillian girlfriend. What's so wrong about brown people and what's wrong with Antillian people? And I don't know, um, ladies and gentlemen, but I think, you know, when people are going to start stigmatizing about different groups, that is so, as I always say, and if you listen to me, I was born of discrimination, so I don't discriminate. I might not feel comfortable with certain groups of racial, but not that I'm going to be, you know, and, 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 and you sound like a fishmonger and you sound like an until I said, what's wrong with until and then, you know, that's where my thing comes in, where I am so passionate about, cause that's a form of discrimination. That is really a form of discrimination. I'm saying what's wrong with Antillian people? What's wrong with black people? I said, 
if there's something wrong with black people and Antillian people, I said, brown women can see through the bullshit of men. And brown women are really intuition. Women on the whole are really intuition. You know, and as you're going to be going at what's wrong with brown women, white women does the same. You know, white women, um, maybe they don't talk so loud, but they do the same things, basically. So what is it in a color? But when the energy of the monkey um, came in, that was when I draw the line, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Because number one, for the people who think that we all come from monkey, I am not one of those people, okay? I don't believe in that evolutional theory. And if I, I, I'm personally, I find it very disrespectful that I'm trying to have a conversation with you because obviously I see that this person is, you know, I can feel this person emotion when they're depressed, when they're down, when they're not. And you're a guest in my house and I'm trying to make you feel comfortable. And, oh, this is not breast. And, uh, you know, if you can't communicate, it is okay. Say, I don't feel like speaking about it. But when you're going to start calling names and going, a fishmonger, you sound like a fishmonger. And this person is kicking things, breaking fence and that sort of a thing. And, you know, this person push you to the level. And ladies and gentlemen, there is just one thing I cannot take as a man disrespecting another woman. And when you're going to be calling someone a monkey, and when you're going to be talking about another race, when you have sex with all of these women, there is nothing wrong with Antillian women. And at that point, that point came up the last December, the same thing that he says, we prefer to deal with a white person. I would think, fine, go and deal with a white person. That is just a form of discrimination because here I am opening my house, but you prefer to be with a white person. I would say, you know, Go along and be with a white person. There is nothing wrong. You know, something I'm educated enough to understand, you know, but no white person had opened up their house to you. I'm the home, the one that said, okay, you asked me to say, I accept you as a guest. And that I found so distasteful. And, you know, calling names and you're a monkey and whatever and whatever. And I think, okay, all right, I'm really seeing your mask coming off now. Okay. But, you know, ladies and gentlemen, whenever people do things that they're going to be caught on to. Anyway, I left that. Move forward, the person left, and um, by the grace of God, and called my girlfriend Donna in Jamaica, in, in America, in, in Texas. Donna called me, and I think, oh my God. She said, the Holy Spirit said I should call you. What's happening? She said, I could not call you. No, the Holy Spirit. And I said, Donna, you are my best friend. I never told you that this person came back. And she said, no, I know you don't have to explain. And she started praying for me. And she said, you don't deserve this. You know, you don't deserve. I didn't even said anything to her. And she said to me, you know, you're such a good person. You don't deserve what is going on with you. And she started praying for my son and the rest of it. And I tell you, Donna is like one of my, she's like my sister, my mother, uh, I mean, this woman is just so beautiful. She's my best friend. And she just called me out in God's name. And this is why I say to people, believe in the God and the universe. And she prayed for me and I went to bed. The next day I, I called a friend up and I said, you know, this is the situation and I need your help. Okay. And the person said, okay, I will come on Saturday. And ladies and gentlemen, yesterday the person came. OK. And we needed to um, do the Internet, reroute the Internet. And the person opened the meter cast and the person said, OK, what on earth is going on? And I said, what do you mean? And the person said, come and look. He said, what is this? What is this? I said, this is where the solar panel was. Uh, montered on the wall 
He said, solar panel, there's not, no solar panel. These are raw wires. If you come in here, it could have shocked you to death. Ladies and gentlemen, check out the photo on YouTube. I post it on YouTube. I don't know. The solar panel, ladies and gentlemen, was there. It is the Saturday, last week Saturday, for somehow I saw the hab came up and I'm wondering, why is this looking like this? But, you know, you're there, you, you know, you're trying to figure out what had gone on a couple hours ago. And I'm thinking, on Saturday, the hab came up on my telephone. I'm thinking, why is this hab looking like this? Okay, there's going to be a part two. Ladies and gentlemen, for whatever is going on, I've done no one anything on this planet. I've only be a humanitarian person by helping people. You pisses me off and you and you disrespect me. I'm not going to be accepting it. But if you are going to be tearing down a solar panel that was placed in there when I said I didn't want it in the first place, and then you're going to be leaving four strokes of the thick wires out that is an accident that is ha waiting to happen where i could lose my life and that's why i'm making this video it is not um someone forgetting something that is not something that any normal person who is whether they are this or that or you cannot leave live wire like that in a meter box so ladies and gentlemen, okay, this is not going to be my last video, okay, even, and I'm asking the European governments and the US government, there is something definitely that is going on, okay, this is very strange, and whatever is going on, because these people must have thought, um, you know, I would have left my assets or my house, no, I have my own family, I would have left um, money in order to help you to find a new place. But that you would think that I'm going to leave my house or my property to strangers. Okay, I'm Mother Teresa, but I'm not that so a Mother Teresa. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here to help humanity. Okay, I'm a humanitarian and I'm an empath. And what happened with empaths, we as empaths, we open up our hearts and we try to help people, but people take disadvantage of us. And I don't know who would have gone because my parents have never, ever done anyone anything. Who would have gone so far to create a chaos that my son is missing? Since 2019 that I return to Holland, there is something definitely going on. Okay, so whoever, because I know my documents was copied because I remember that I, you know, some, I remove some documents out of my house. And the thing is that these are strange people. Strange people are coming in to build in my house. I don't know these people. I don't know who is who. And whoever in America, in the Netherlands, has received a copy of my documents, it was done on the night of July 19, between the hours of 12 and the hours of 5 a.m. in the morning. My information was accessed and was used because I have been investigating this. And I'm asking you guys, so this is the reason why I'm making this video, okay? Because what I found today, I could have opened that thing and I could have electrocuted because I'm not aware of that sort of a thing. Ask me anything about accounting, anything about financial, anything about coaching, but I don't know anything about an electric case with live wire that it caused so an alert and we had no tape to kind of bond them together. I mean, I can see everyone that goes in and out of my house on a camera because I have a doorbell camera and I have a hab. 
No one, it must have been someone who was in my house, could have done a deed like that. So ladies and gentlemen, I want you to think for yourself what exactly is happening. But I can tell you guys, if I should die, there is someone who is placed because I have signed my last will and testament. So if I die, no one will get until it. If all of those people that I put in place to get my assets is dead, it will go to the um, abused women and children. Ladies and gentlemen, empathic out there, light workers, star seed, we are under attack by the dark ones. Wake up. And I'm telling you guys, I have already put it in place. And the executor of my will will do it. And if they are all dead, it will be all going to abuse women and children. Where is your heart? To all my family, I love you so much. And I know you guys are really, you know, like saying, you know, this is not right. You have never done anyone anything.